Okay. So in this video, we are going to um, see how we can reuse the test cases, uh, manual test cases in the quality center. Uh, reusability in the sense like, you know, uh, in case if any of the test case needs to be called inside another test case. Okay, so what I mean to say is here, uh, let's take some example here. Okay, if you are writing the test cases, now let's say here, uh, I'm writing the test cases for adding an employee in an HRMS. So the process is like this. Uh, the first test case is add an employee with the login credentials. Now, uh, for this test case, the steps are like this. First, you need to launch the application and you need to navigate to specific URL. After that, you know, you do the validation. Uh, expected result will be there, obviously, for every step. And then the second step is you enter the username, you enter the password, login button, you click on login button, and then you have to verify login is successful or not. And then, okay, so you need to click on uh, a PIM link, and then you need to click on add employee link, like so. Now, uh, the remaining process, you enter the employee details, and then you uh, save the employee, and then see if employee has been created or not, and then you click on uh, logout see whether the logout is successful or not these are the steps for that particular test case now assume that you have written these steps already uh, okay so or else let me do one thing let me write the steps here whatever the steps that i told here it might take a little time but just be with the patients and uh, i'm just creating a scenario here i'll say employee management and i'm just creating a new test case here you say or oh, create a new employee without login credentials without login credentials you just be with some patients okay so now I just created the test case and I'm writing the design steps now the steps what I mean to say is here like you say first the step is launch the browser there could be some spelling mistakes so be please bear with that launch the browser and navigate to navigate url then you say insert parameter and url would be the parameter here i'll say the url and then say okay and expected result is application should be launched and navigate it to login page next new step is uh, second step enter the username as again you create a parameter here the parameter is username so some spelling mistake but that's fine and password as now again new parameter password say password here and then you say click on login button then you say here it should be successful then you click on new and you say Click on PM link, then uh, expected result is application should be navigated to employee list page where all the existing employees should be listed and uh, next step is click on add employee link application should be navigated to add employee page next you say enter the following details and Can you say first name, last name, location, 
and click on save. Click on save button. Then you say here expected result is I should get created. Then you log out. Log out from application. Then you say log out should be successful. Some spelling mistakes, that's okay, fine, because we are not uh, worried about uh, the spelling mistakes here. That's okay. Now you can see the test case has been created, right? So the steps are like this. First step is you launch the application, and uh, again you log in, and then you click on PM link, add employee, and then you enter the details and log out. Okay, one test case is created. Now you go for second test case. The second test case is again here, create an employee without uh, the name with the login credentials this time. Okay, and uh, now, so the test case name is create the employee <coughs> with login credentials. Now, when I create this test case, the steps for this test case are like this. First, you need to launch the application. Again, you need to log into the application. Then you need to click on PAM link, add employee. Click on add employee link and then you enter the details. And you need to enter login credentials, sorry, login credentials of the employee and save it. After that, you log out. Now, see, if you look, observe this, this launch the application and log into the application, right? So these two steps are common across all the test cases what about the test case that you create in this uh, application now these two steps are quite common right so in every step you need them so what you need to do is now if you go with the traditional approach a normal approach these two steps need to be you know uh, written or these two steps need to be repeatedly written in every test case which consumes a lot of effort so what should we do in this case? Instead of rewriting those steps again and again, so what you can do in the QC is whatever the steps, right? So whatever the functionality, small piece of functionality, which will be repeated, then what you can do is you can create one test case for that functionality or with those steps, whatever the steps are repeated. You can create a separate test case for it. And whenever you need those steps in any of the test case, Instead of writing those steps again, you can simply call that test case in another test case. Okay, so what I mean to say here is you observe what I do here. Now, what I do is okay, here instead of writing the test case directly, what I do is I'll just create the reusable test cases now. I'll say reusable test cases. In the reusable test cases, first I'll create one is login and in the login test case whatever the steps that I have I need what I do is I'll just select it I'll take from here I'll paste here one minute those are not done it's cut it's say copy those steps and then you come here and you paste here. So two steps. I mean, these two steps are being common across um, all the test cases, right? And then you say next test case is navigate to add employee page. So in this, I'll keep these two. So now I just made only small small components here, right? Okay. Now, so come back to the test case, main test case now. So in this test case, what I need to do is first I need to launch la launch the application and then I need to navigate to the URL as well as uh, you know you need to uh, log into the application, right? So instead of writing those steps again, let's see what I do here. Now, uh, can you see a button called call to test here? This is what I'm talking about. Okay. Call to test. And then you click on call to test. And in the call to test, 
as soon as you click on that it will display test plan tree structure you select the folder and you extract that and then you say you can see reusable test cases here you got login right you click on login and then you say okay so now what it does it will call the login test here into this test now during the execution whatever the steps are inside this login will be displayed during the execution right okay now so this is i'm done with the login steps now again you click on call to test i need to navigate to uh, add employee page right so there is a separate test case created to perform those steps and you call the test case now so what you can do is now you just say place for test cases and then navigate to add employee page you say okay done now after that you start writing the design steps now the design steps are like this next the following details and you say first name last name new username for the employee new password for the employee location and click on save save button then you say employee should get created and then the last step would be log out of the employee log out should be successful now if you see here the test case is done. This will save my effort, right? So because I don't need to rewrite those steps again and again. So whatever the steps that need to be reused, I'm keeping in a separate test case. And wherever I need it, I'm just calling it. Okay, how do you call it? Can you see something called a call to test? Or else other option is you right click on the step and then you have an option called call to test, right? Control L is a shortcut key. You click on call to test and then you navigate to the folder where your the test case is which one you want to call and you select the test case and click on ok the test case will be called here okay so this is how you can call a test case from one test case to another test you can call a test case from other test case for reusability this is how we can re achieve the reusability of the test cases and in case if any of the steps need to be repeated again and again don't write again and again in all the test cases with those common steps you create a separate test case wherever you need those steps you just call them okay so this is about calling a test case from other test case